the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Listen, I can be exhausted and by the simple biological system in a man, Chances are excellent that when you are exhausted, based on the biological construct of your body, you may have a headache, you may have whatever it is. It's not necessarily demonic. But demons can enter that situation. At that point, Panadol will act like water. It will not do anything to that condition. That is the reason why you will see that there are many sicknesses that spirits initiated it or took advantage of the health conditions and entered it. Jesus, as we'll be learning, would often cast out the spirit influence. Then he can now deal with the, the issue. Are you seeing now? Very powerful. James chapter 2 and verse 26. Let me show you something. A very powerful principle. Apostle James was teaching us about faith and works. And he veered off to explain a very deep and powerful spiritual concept. He said, for as the body without the spirit is dead. He, he draws from a mystery and a spiritual principle to help us understand faith and works. That means everything that is alive, both men and conditions, there must be a spirit giving it life. Do we agree? If there is favor on your life physically, Paul is saying that physical result, are we to Apostle James? He's saying that physical result is not normal. There is a spirit that is powering it to happen. If there is disfavor, he's also saying that physical condition is being powered by a spirit because anybody that does not have a spirit is dead. You can build a body called your business, but there has to be a spirit that gives it life. And if there is no spirit and it is empty, Satan will come and occupy that business. And the business will start acting the same way a demon-possessed person acts. Are we together now? You will be surprised that a business, the same thing that happens to a human being possessed, will happen to your business. Nobody will come. It will be isolated. It will go down. It will be in decadence. A whole territory can be possessed by spirits. And you find out that even the physical structures will look like the spiritual state of that place. For as a body without the spirit is dead, your certificate is a body if all you keep moving around with it you are wasting your time because it is dead there has to be a spirit now unbelievers know this they know this in politics they know this in the business world every physical thing you have is called a body it only has life when it comes from the spirit that empowers it are you learning you only draw your life and strength from your union with a spirit Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 will come there later on but give us amplified Ephesians 6 and verse 10 please read with me what amplified says are you ready it's projected one to read in conclusion be strong in the Lord it says be empowered through your union with him draw your strength from him that strength which is boundless might be empowered through your union with him your remote control as powerful as it is needs a battery to power it that battery is the spirit of that remote because that's what gives it life is that true when you pour a liquid into your car you call it pms premium motor spirit 
and you pour that thing inside a physical car and kick it and it starts going and if that thing finishes no matter what your car is it will remain there a body without a spirit is dead as big as your generator is let everything be alive and that fuel that diesel gasoline everything is gone and you will kick it and waste your time what makes you believe your business and your life and your family and your job and your destiny will only move as physical structures there must be a spirit component you actually believe koinonia is just a physical organization that's a mistake can a physical organization do this there has to be a spirit There are results that men cannot produce unassisted. There has to be a spirit component. May your life begin to, to shock you even from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, when you know this, you don't fear because you are not alone. If you depend on all you have, you are not much. But when the spirit component comes how many of you have seen a tiny remote that you can be playing with like this you go and now i'm not encouraging terrorism in jesus name but those who are in the army what they use to activate bombs sometimes it can be a tiny substance like this they can hold it around but let them press that tiny thing and something that is in the sea or somewhere can explode and literally wipe a whole nation in a matter of minutes or hours you can be small but let that spirit component back you you will have results that defy explanations sometimes you have to stop yourself and say what is this may that be someone's testimony after tonight in the name of jesus christ so when you see extraordinary results don't ask spiritually childish questions where did it come from you know the answer there has to be a spirit you go back and from tomorrow you see what begins to happen to you in your business your shop has been running as an economic structure change it to a spiritual structure invite the holy spirit to be in partnership you've been doing your work just as an intellectual add the spirit component and watch the wonder working power of the spirit believe me i know what i'm saying when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hand impossible becomes possible when you hold my hand Everything becomes possible when you hold my hand. Impossible, impossible becomes possible. So let's go back to what we are dealing with. I told you that there are spirits that attach themselves to your spirit in the case of a possession to your soul and to your body and the legal access like we have learned is through covenants through disobedience and through ignorance so the first step in deliverance is casting out devils do you see that casting out devils is not deliverance casting out devils is part of deliverance there is a difference between deliverance and casting out devils casting out devils is a subset of deliverance just because you have casted out devils does not mean you have administered deliverance is someone learning is god giving us wisdom we generally say i have been delivered and in that you are right but theologically speaking casting out demons or the spirit influence behind individuals behind conditions behind states is only one of the aspects let's look at a few scriptures mark chapter 1 the ministry of jesus is god helping us let's rush mark chapter 1 from verse 22 
mark chapter 1 from verse 22 the bible says they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority listen this is the first miracle of jesus according to the synoptic account of mark the bible says as one that had authority and not as the scribes 23 and there was in their synagogue now are you seeing this now the man with an unclean spirit do you think he came to church believing he had an unclean spirit was he acting like a man with an unclean spirit he came as a very faithful congregant and he sat quietly but the bible says that man had an unclean spirit and he cried out the spirit not the man next verse saying let us alone so you, you know that that man was heavily under the influence of spirits let us alone what have we to do with you thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us i know who thou art can you imagine that demons know jesus more than believers in an instant they knew without confusion you are the holy one of god 25 this is the first recorded activity of casting out demons by jesus remember i taught you that until jesus showed up they had never seen casting out demons by a name no it had never happened for a man to use his authority and rebuke a spirit demons had left people they left in worship in the case of david and in most cases they will stone the person who the demons possess so that if that body dies the spirit will struggle to look for another body again but this was the first time they saw a man with the precision of a surgeon he can remove the spirit and leave the victim alive they said who is this where did you bring this doctrine from we thought that when a man is demonized or possessed that man is over but now jesus is saying you can preserve the man by expelling the spirit and jesus rebuked him saying hold thy peace and come out of him i love jesus verse 26 when the unclean spirit had torn him are you seeing some of this characteristic that means it is not unusual now please pay attention i know that again when i speak like this there is always a boundary of balance but it is not unusual to find out that at the process of expelling spirits they can talk through their victims or there can be manifestations it is not unscriptural satan can take advantage of it but it's a very usual occurrence jesus himself showed us here are we together and cried with a loud voice and came out of him 27 we're reading to 28 the bible says they were amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they obey him may they obey you yeah. in the name of jesus christ yeah. with authority that you can step into a business and someone can say listen i hear you attend koinonia i i know you have spiritual understanding my entire my whole life is come is crumbling and with the wisdom of one who has been well trained you look at the situation and you can see the signs you know that this is beyond a sociological problem you can detect the presence of demons and while the person hopes that you will comfort them in their lamentation you will tell them my idea of comfort is not crying with you it's bringing liberty to you and you look at that situation this financial situation in the name of Jesus the spirit that is behind it you drive it away and somebody will say my my contract that has not been signed now you know that it's not just a man stopping it behind it there are spirits and they were amazed and they said what is this 28 the last verse now and immediately his fame there is something about authentic biblical deliverance it truly makes noise can I tell you, casting out demons is one of the clearest expression of the superiority of light over darkness. Now, forget about the bad experiences you may have had in the body of Christ. Just allow me to teach you doctrine. 
just because you've had bad experiences somewhere you went to one place or maybe some demonic thing somewhere i am telling you if authentic deliverance happens the testimonies that follow will be too it will be even if you are an introvert you'll be too grateful to keep quiet because you see the way demons operate they operate like an octopus you know how it is with plenty it will usually not touch only one area so there are areas in your life you would not even expect a miracle from but when that one spirit goes it's like wildfire in one day doors can open listen if you are healed in your body of say diabetes it will not affect your finances because this has to do with your body but let one spirit that has been sitting quietly over the many areas of your life i tell you if that one spirit is genuinely fired out of your body and out of your situation things will change most situations that people have hear me are powered by demons if i ask you write your prayer request you can write 30 things you will be surprised that all those 30 things is the same spirit sitting on it so god does not answer one 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 he goes to the root that spirit i'm showing you why casting out demons if done biblically can work wonders i have seen this happen in the life of people they came for prayer apostle this is what is wrong with me bad dreams or whatever it is and of course they will usually have other problems but in order of priority they want to deal with the one they consider to be most important and when they come to me i look at their situation and i know and i tell them you just get ready for testimonies and sometimes just hours after that do you know let me tell you until you are really 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 delivered you don't know how many things satan is stopping let the deliverance fire of god authentic fire land upon your life and you will see that there were many things that were supposed to have happened to you for your good whereas your area of focus for a miracle is just a job whereas your area of focus is just your health you do not know a lot of other things that are piling up in the realm of the spirit blocked by the presence of spirits that's why i told you when deliverance happens the fame the testimonies from it you will see people listing testimonies as if they are lying because one spirit left you see you come for prayer and usually you pray for yourself but the same spirit oppressing you is the one oppressing your elder brother the one oppressing your elder sister so when it leaves you are not the only one who smiles we are here for you Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts for you. So you do what you do. We need a move. Can I tell you this? Let me tell you the truth. As uncomfortable as ministering and casting out demons are, I'm not talking of many of the imbalances I have learned in my life. When you truly love people and you want to help them, if you genuinely love people more than your reputation, get demons out of their way and watch the wonder working power why should a hard-working man not be able to pay the school fees of a child what is it about school fees are you that dull i tell you there is a demon spirit what is it about a young man who begins to work and cannot own a house of or of his own you are in a city of blessings it's not normal what of those who receive payment they will tell you i got 10 million i got 20 million I'm, I'm a sincere person i love god where the money went to i don't know let me tell you where it went to there are spirits your eyes can only see so much my dear people please take seriously what i'm telling you because this night i assure you by the god of heaven you came that god will bring this thing to an end now
Please sit down. Hallelujah. There are spirits that when these spirits manifest, people will always misunderstand you. Listen. When Jesus became seen, something happened to him. Jesus, who was an epitome of the love of God, was standing. Barabbas, who was a confirmed criminal, was standing. They told men, choose who should leave. They chose Barabbas. When people, rejection has an explanation. Why will you choose Barabbas? Somebody who probably stole from your house. He was caught in your presence. And yet you chose so you see what certain politicians do let me leave that for another day if you are not empowered by the spirit you will call evil light you will call light evil you will walk consciously to evil the people that chose barabbas were not wicked people they they, they found themselves saying let a curse come on us and our children and jesus was just watching them That is the same way there will be a job that can lift you and bless you. There will be another one that will destroy you. You will sit down and that spirit can come upon you and you will get up and throw away a job that is full of destiny helpers. There are people who had jobs that if they listened to, it would have blessed them. But a spirit came upon them and made that job look like it's an interruption to ministry. They left the job in a bit to become preachers. And they found out later they made a big mistake. May your eyes be open in this series. In the name of Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. We want to see how spirits cause even health conditions. Verse 10. Luke 13 verse 10. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. Are we still here? Next verse please, quickly. And behold, there was a woman which had a what? Spirit of infirmity. Remember I taught you last week that spirits are also identified. Demons, unclean spirits. They are identified by the character of what they do. A spirit of infirmity. How long? If you ever believe that time casts out demons, learn again from this story. That time will not exit a demon. It can sit on your life from when you are small and if allowed until the day you go to heaven or hell where based on what choice of salvation you make it can remain there 18 years the bible never said this woman was a backslider she was going to church every time and yet that spirit will follow her to church share the grace and go back follow her to church share the grace and go back 18 years until jesus came you're a man of god may you be a man of god on fire let people not come and sit down under the influence of your grace and you share the grace and all this backlog of trouble go with them there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years look at this the bible says she was bowed together something like this and could not lift herself now physically will you see a spirit on her no doctors are here they would be able to give it a medical name do you think in that 18 years someone was not compassionate enough to try to treat her verse 12 the bible says when jesus saw her he called her to him and he said to her listen to what he said woman thou art loosed so she was bound if you look at somebody bending you would just say okay maybe it's just cold maybe the weather maybe some kind of medical condition maybe your your spine and all of that and jesus is saying all that explanation you are giving is correct from the physical realm but from the realm of the spirit i wonder what they use to tie her it can be a rope that for 18 years nothing has happened to it verse 13 and he laid his hands are you seeing now the Bible says he loosed her from the influence of that spirit. Then he now laid his hands on her 
and immediately she was made straight and glorified God read on look at what happened he's giving an explanation here is the explanation I'm interested in the ruler of the synagogues answered with indignation now you know why they were angry were they angry on their own with what I've taught you now because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day look at a silly reason for anger that he healed on Sunday on well Sabbath then was Saturday and said unto the people there are six days which men ought to walk in them therefore come and be healed and not on the Sabbath day that was the anger of the people you can see that if you look at people you can have compassion because you see how foolish their ideas are you know they are empowered by demon spirits how do you get angry for a woman who has been healed for 18 years the first thing to do is congratulate her at least and yet they were angry that anger is not normal humans will rejoice with a woman that way but humans empowered by demons will behave like demons that you have received a testimony after 18 years and people are clapping for you and there is actually a human being who looks at you and is not interested in the victory after 18 years and he's warning you that his, his mind is on the sabbath as if it affected him directly verse 15 the lord answered him and said thou hypocrite look at jesus jesus is about to get them Doth not each one of you on the Sabbath lose your ox? Uh-huh. Are you seeing now? They had animals and they don't tie them on Sunday to respect the Sabbath because they need them to feed and be fat so that they can sell them. And he's saying you're a hypocrite. You can lose your donkey or your goat on Sunday to still eat or, or on the Sabbath to eat grass. And here is a woman. The Bible says you can lose them a way to eat. And then verse 16, let's hurry up jesus is saying ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham that means do you not know there is a covenant what is the covenant in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed that means this woman qualifies based on my agreement with abraham because abraham's covenant was to him and to his seed that the seed being christ and he has come now as an expression of his compassion lo these 18 years be loosed from this bound other versions say who satan had bound for 18 years many health conditions hear me believers many health and medical conditions i submit to you by the authority of scripture have demons behind them I have ministered to people you've you've seen miracles happen here i have seen people whole families that were healed of hiv not stage managed nonsense genuine miracles because the hiv did not come it was not in their bloodline i've heard people tell me i went to bed true story and i saw someone holding a syringe an injection he injected me with whatever it is i woke up physically and started reacting either to hiv or whatever it is they would be on antiretrovirals it will not work and yet the power of god comes in one moment and that devil of darkness leaves you've seen miracles happen right here in your presence just like that that's how it will happen in your life this night in the name of jesus christ one last scripture luke 11 and 14 very simple scripture i want to show you how that demon spirits are behind many cases of ill health the bible says and he was casting out a devil the he being jesus and it was dumb the victim and it came to pass when the devil was gone out what happened the dumb spake and the people wondered that means anything in your life that is not speaking there is a spirit when that spirit is cast out that thing starts speaking whether it's your influence whether it's your honor whether it's your glory the dumb speak 
now in scripture you will see two expressions when it has to do with expelling demons number one is the word rebuked number two the word cast out it is these are very usual expressions when it has to do with casting out demons rebuked or you know to cast out take note of that and then i told you notice that the spirits were identified based on the issues that they caused let's look at one more scripture for sake of time acts chapter 16 acts chapter 16 i'm showing you the first level of deliverance casting out the demons the spirit influences verse 16 acts 16 verse 16 it came to pass as we went to prayer a certain damsel with a spirit of divination met us which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying we were discussing this with our school of ministry students and we were laughing that not all profit is profit here is a relationship between a spirit of divination and profit she brought her masters profit and yet it was by the spirit of divination 17 the bible says and the same followed paul and us and cried saying these are men these men are the servants of the most high were they lying please talk to me were they lying which show us the way to salvation what is more accurate than what this girl said 18 the bible says this she did many days but paul being grieved turned and said to the spirit not the girl the spirit i command thee in the name of jesus come out of her and he came out the same hour he came out the same hour note that manifestations when casting out demons is usual and biblical that means it does not mean there has to be manifestations when you cast out demon spirits but that even when it happens it is not unusual like you see all the time here it does not necessarily mean that the people are possessed now you know that there are different levels when you are ministering when you are casting out devils or ministering deliverance as we know both the unbeliever who is possessed and the spirit who is demonized they will manifest the same way and so you can mistake it to mean that they are possessed but christians cannot be possessed by demon spirits are we together now the second level of deliverance very quickly is what i call deliverance through transformation this is the level that is probably most neglected by many believers they do not know that this is a second level of deliverance please write deliverance through transformation and that by the word of god deliverance through transformation the second level of deliverance in mark chapter 5 the story of the madman in gadara mark chapter 5 we'll read verse 15 please let's hurry up for sake of time mark chapter 5 and verse 15 remember before now jesus had casted that legion of the legion of devils out of the man and then you know the story got to town and people rushed and came here's what the bible says happened they came to jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion what did they see him do sitting and clothed in his right mind so in as much as the demon had been casted out you would think that's all but the man was sitting and listening to jesus and now his mind was becoming right the demon can leave but your mind can be wrong are we together now the second level of deliverance seeks to bring that transformation to your mind write this down please deliverance through transformation involves a reorientation of your spiritual understanding please write that down deliverance through transformation involves a reorientation of your spiritual understanding 
now that the spirit influence has been cast out in the name of jesus you need a reorientation to change your thinking and your perception because i taught you that strongholds are negative mindsets or belief systems that have been fortified by the presence of demon spirits to keep the victim perpetually in that state deliverance through transformation seeks to bring a reorientation of your spiritual understanding write this down deliverance through transformation involves opening the believer to the nature and the character of god then the principles of the kingdom deliverance through transformation involves opening the believer up to the nature and the character of god and then the principles of the kingdom that means the second level is that the believer is opened up to understand the nature and to understand the character of god and then to also understand the principles of the kingdom if you're with me say amen. amen so number one a reorientation of your spiritual understanding opening you up to the nature and the character of god and then the principles of the kingdom write this down please transformation closes the door of ignorance and empowers the believer to rise above the influence of demons i'll take it again transformation closes the door of ignorance transformation closes the door of ignorance and empowers the believer to rise above the influence of demons how true transformation closes the door of ignorance and empowers the believer to rise above the influence of demons if a door is not open demons cannot come and ignorance is one of the doors or access points the assignment of transformation is that when the demon goes out then transformation now closes that door otherwise the demon will say i will return back to my house it can find it swept it can find it clean but still opened are we learning finally transformation tears down negative thought patterns transformation tears down negative thought patterns that hitherto have been doorways for demons transformation tears down negative thought patterns or mindsets you may call them transformation tears down negative thought patterns that hitherto had been doorways for demons <clears throat> listen listen carefully write this down and listen let me take you one more time transformation tears down negative thought patterns that hitherto had been doorways for demons now please pay attention demons don't just find comfort arbitrarily they depend on the wrong mental construct of the victim to keep remaining comfortable in that victim are we together so what demon spirits do is that before they attack an individual they bring together wrong information that constructs your mindset negatively and when they find that negative construction the demon spirits come and fortify that thought pattern so that you will not change from thinking that way now it becomes a free way for them because provided you have a negative thought pattern no matter how many times they cast out demons they will go with joy because they know the door is open you are not afraid of leaving your house because you have the key is that true have you had times where you left the key inside or for some reason you don't have the key and the door was locked now you get stranded and you get afraid demon spirit need not be afraid if they still have a firm control of your negative thought pattern please you have to learn this many believers rejoice in the fact that they've been free from demon spirits but these spirits easily and almost effortlessly return to the people why because they do not contend for transformation the moment they are delivered they say amen or demons are casted out they say amen they are happy 
and then they are flattered by the instant results they begin to receive and they no longer come to church they no longer open up themselves to the ministry of the teaching priest you see one of the blessings of coming to the house of god is that you are submitting your mindset are we together now the word of god attacks your mindset directly it begins to deconstruct the old and poor and negative thinking patterns that came from culture poor prior mentorship are we together inaccurate understanding of scripture because i told you the truth without balance can still destroy so when you submit yourself to doctrine among the many things it achieves is it begins to give you a superior enlightenment say amen, amen. i wrote down here let's look at let me let me give you two or three more scriptures proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23 proverbs 4 and 23 thank you jesus it says keep or guard your heart with all diligence for out of it heart is interchanged for mind many times in scripture for out of it are the issues of life you have a responsibility to keep protect guard your mind guard your heart dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline